again, thank you for joining me at the Financial Spotlight for our Money Savvy Challenge. Today is day number nine, and we are talking about saving your change and putting it into some type of um, either a piggy bank, a jar, something where you save up all of your change. And I know everybody has change. You either have it in your pockets, your purse, you might find it in the couch. And if you put your change in either a piggy bank or a jar, you can save it up for a rainy day. Um, I had a friend not too long ago who saved up like about $900 after two years of saving change. He saved up $900 and he was able to save up for a vacation. And even if you don't want to save up for a vacation, um, you might want to save up for other things, but $900 can go a long way. You can take that money and save it up for your children's education. You can um, put it towards books or computer or um, their room and board or anything that has to do with, or even your own education. You can also save that money up and put it towards um, improving your home. So, um, you know, like I said, just saving up the money, saving up the pennies, dimes, nickels, quarters into the jar or the piggy bank can always help you and it every little bit counts. So I hope you enjoyed this today. Thanks for joining the Financial Spotlight. Make sure that you subscribe to become a part of the Financial Spotlight family and hope you have a great day and I'll see you again tomorrow.